Now Lake Owyhee is a massive body of water on the Missouri River system. It starts in Pierce, South Dakota. It stretches all the way up to Bismarck, North Dakota. That's many, many miles of shoreline. I know a lot of great walleye anglers that all they do out here is troll crankbaits because there's so much water to cover. Now these fish are feeding on a lot of gizzard shad, they're feeding on a lot of rainbow smelt, and also young of the year perch. You can't go wrong just covering water, eliminating water because these fish are here today, gone tomorrow. Trolling crankbaits allows you to cover the water to stay on these fish and to catch these fish. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, as wind comes up and boat control can also be a challenge, but when you're trolling two and a half, three miles an hour, trolling crankbaits is probably one of the easiest ways to fish in this type of wind. Oh. Looks like another good one. That is a good fish right here. That's what we're here for. Bring them up to the top here and see what we're dealing with. Don't have that much line out, so. Yeah, that's a good fish here. Wow, Jason, there's a nice walleye. Yeah, a lot of, oh yeah, I came out in the net here. A lot of fish in the lake that are this size. That's just a great, just a great healthy walleye right there. Perfect eater size fish if you're gonna to look to eat fish, but you know, you look at Lake Oahe right now, this particular year class, you know, that 15 to 20 inch fish, lake's full of them right now. Now, historically, Lake Oahe ranks as one of the top fisheries in the Midwest, and like any reservoir, there's ups and downs. High water, you typically see a cycle of good fishing, low water, sometimes you see a cycle of poorer fishing, depending on the forage. Back a few years ago, we lost a lot of forage in Lake Oahe with high water. But Lake Oahe is definitely trending up. Right now, there are so many fish in the system, some tremendous year classes coming to this lake. And right now, those fish are 15 to 20 inches. Those fish are just going to keep getting longer and bigger as the years progress. And so right now, we're starting to see a rebound from those high water years that we had a few years ago, where there's a lot of walleyes coming to the system. There's also a lot of crappies in the system right now. So it's a really a fascinating fishery. But for so many anglers on Lake Oahe, all they do is troll crankbaits. Oh, there's one, Jason. All right, how's it feel? Feels good, actually. Good. Just picked it up and he was actually, grabbed it out of the rod holder and... All right, on that Nordic perch again? Yeah, Nordic perch. See what we got on this time. I'm gonna put the boat in neutral here. I'm just gonna spin it a little bit. Bring him on in. Oh yeah, that's another dandy walleye. There, great fish. Yeah, that fish came on that Nordic perch. Yeah, the color's been doing well for us this year. Great color on Lake Oahe, also a great color on Devil's Lake too, but it's just a killer color pattern. This is a Shields exclusive color pattern, and you know, you guys have had this here for a couple of years, and boy, I tell you what, that right there, that is one of my favorites. All right, we'll get that fish in the water. Cool. Yeah, I tell you what, I love trolling cranks. Oh, there you go. Good fish? It feels like a good fish. Yeah, I'll say. All right. Yeah, just working it and pumping it a little bit, giving it a little slack, and all of a sudden you can feel that fish come up and just hit it. You find that happens quite often where that rod you're holding your hand out fishes a rod that's just getting retrieved in a straight line. Yeah, kind of give it a little tweak in between. Oh, yeah, another nice walleye. I'll get the net here. Another nice walleye. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. You know, we're just, last couple of fish now have come in nine feet. Oh yeah, look at that. Just a great, great looking walleye. I just love it when they do that pose. Yeah, they look beautiful. <laughs> they do, they do. You know, and basically what we've been doing is we've been really focusing on the mouths of these bays. You know, that's where a lot of the fish get caught on the upper end of Lake Oahe, where we're out by Porcupine, but you've got Cattail, you've got Four Mile, you've got all these different bays. In the mouths of these bays, there's some really good structure. There's flats that come out that drop into deep water, there's these feeding shelves, and that's where we're finding these walleyes. Started working in a little Ma Pa type shop in Dickinson, and moved to Shields and jumped on board uh, for about 19 years now. Good fish. There. Oh, nice, yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> Stand down nice, too. Yeah, that's acting like a good fish. Get a little closer here, let me know, and I'll grab the net here for you. 
Okay. I'm just going to keep us straight here for now. We're kind of going into the wind. There's probably two things I like about the fishing industry is one is the, the new technology and or new tackle that you get to see and be on the forefront of. But yet, on the other side, I like to, to take it to the angler so that you allow them to catch more fish or introduce it to them and display it. Nice walleye. And it's got a tag on it. It is, Jason, tagged fish. Yeah, we should take a picture of that. It's number 40576, South Dakota. Not in North Dakota. These reservoir fish are moving a lot, but it's also fascinating. What a lot of this tagging information is telling you is that there's also a lot of resident populations of fish. In other words, fish that are way down by Spring Creek might not always come up to Mobridge or, you know, so really the movements of these reservoir walleyes are pretty fascinating. This tagging information, tagging studies help anglers and biologists understand these systems even more, but pretty cool story right there. Here we go. There, look at that. Oh, I love those head shakes. That huh? was awesome. That was awesome. It's violence. <laughs> yeah, this is a good fish here, Derek. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Oh yeah, here he comes. Yeah, that's a good fish. Jason, let me grab the net. I'll just ski him right on in here. Back up here, get out of your way. There, all right, thank you, sir. Nice fish. That's a great walleye right there. Rocking and rolling in the wind. But yeah, I just love, I love fishing cranks these days. You know, you get these days in the summer where that wind just feels hot. Some of the first warm days of the year, you know, that water temperature is finally starting to get up into the 70 degrees. I don't know if you can go wrong running these shallow flats, two miles an hour, three miles an hour, and you find the fish up on these flats and they're here to eat. But yeah, just a beautiful walleye right there. Now you can see this bait that we're using here, you know, we're trolling seven feet to 10 feet of water. And so you can imagine you run it 40, 50 feet behind the boat, that's all it takes. You don't need very much line out. And so that's kind of nice when you're trolling these reservoirs because a lot of times you're on this in and out structure where that contour is changing all over the place. And so you're a short distance behind the boat, waves like this, wind like this, you don't have to worry about fish spooking from the boat. But you can see that wider profile, you just see that it's got a different profile to it than a lot of baits where you run that bait nose down, tail up, it's just a big target for these fish to hit, and that's why these lures are so effective fish this way. Oh, here we go, here we go. Wow, 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 wow. This is interesting. <laughs> you could probably, yeah. Wow, this is a big fish. I'm guessing it's a drum or a big, catfish or something goofy that's snagged. I'm trying to get this fish up where we can see it. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. There he is, big pike. Big pike? Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that's a good fish there. That's a good fish. People come out here in the springtime with smelt or herring from catch fish like this from shore. You know, then late ice is obviously prime time, but it's all about this water coming back up. Whoa. Oh, well, this is fun. Big old gator giving us a run for our money. <laughs> just gonna back up here. We're just gonna try to see if we can slide them in. Ever come in head first? There you go, just let her slide into the net. There. <laughs> let them slide in, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Don't lift them out of the water, just hold them right there. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> nice net job there, buddy. Look at that pike. Back. That is a pike right there. That is a, that was fun. <laughs> oh my. All right, well, what a great fish here. We'll get this fish back in the water and release her right away. Hold these big fish horizontal. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Got that a beautiful was, bath. That huh? was awesome. <laughs> oh man, slimed up. <laughs> that was great. I love those toothy critters. That was cool. Take it any day.